Well, just about every American kid has probably read Where the Red Fern Grows. It's a tearjerker novel. It's on required reading lists in schools across America. Think Old Yeller times two. But did you know its author wrote the now classic book while living in Idaho Falls? Kim Fields brings us the story. Where the Red Fern Grows, a timeless classic about a boy and his dogs. More than 7 million copies sold and adapted into a movie in 1974. I'll let you have one whole wall of that smokehouse if you think you and them dogs can cover it. Author Wilson Rawls wrote the book while living in Idaho Falls, but the book was almost never published. Like the book's main character, Billy, Rawls grew up in the Ozarks in Oklahoma. He had always wanted to be a writer, but with little to no education and terrible spelling and grammar, Rawls would burn his manuscripts and completed novels out of embarrassment so they would never be read aloud. That is until 1958, when he married Sophie Stizinski in Idaho Falls. He told her about his desire to become a writer. She encouraged him to rewrite one of his stories from memory, which he did in just three weeks. With Sophie's help editing, The Hounds of Youth was published in three installments in the Saturday Evening Post in 1961. That same year, it was published as a novel titled Where the Red Fern Grows. Rawls and his wife moved to Wisconsin in 1975. He traveled the country and spoke at more than 2,000 schools, always bringing with him his transcript of Where the Red Fern Fern grows to encourage students to continue their education. Rawls died in 1984 in Wisconsin. His ties to Idaho Falls commemorated with this statue outside the Idaho Falls Library. The life-size bronze statue features Billy and his hounds, Old Dan and Little Ann. You want to know what happens to Old Dan and Little Ann? All right, I won't tell you. Where the Red Fern Grows didn't sell well at first, and according to one biography online, it almost went out of print until they shifted the marketing to, uh, of the book to the teachers and students and is now considered a must read for school children.